Hey, this is a walkthrough of Philip's puzzle Out with the Old, originally posted in GAS on January 2nd, 2024. As you can see, it is a New Year's 2024 themed puzzle. It's a standard Sudoku with Thermo. So standard Sudoku rules are we're going to place the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each 3 by 3 outlined region. Thermo rules, we're going to be placing digits along each of these wiggly thermometer shapes so that the digits increase, not necessarily consecutively, so they don't have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, they could go 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, etc. But they do have to consistently increase, starting at the round bulb end and going all the way to the tip. <clears throat> In this thermometer, I'm going to assume uh, that we have, so because we have one bulb, that just means that we can increase along each of these lines. So for instance, this digit has to be lower than, than all of these. So we're increasing along this line, this line, and this line. So let's go ahead and solve. So the first thing that strikes me in this puzzle is that we have some relatively long thermometers, and because we don't have a lot of given digits, we probably want to start by seeing if we can squeeze some given digits out of the thermometers. So these guys are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits long, which means, so with nine digits, we would have no degrees of freedom. So if we're seven digits long, we would have two degrees of freedom. So we can pencil mark in our possibilities for the thermometer like this. Now, the only way I see that this interacts with the given digits right now is that there's a 4 in this box, and there's a 4 here. That means this digit can't be 4, and because this one has to be lower, this one now can't be 3. So let's do the same thing with this thermo. This is the same length, so we can mark in the possibilities the same way. This could be as low as 1 or as high as 3 because we have 2 degrees of freedom. And there's a little bit more going on here that we can use. So let's just take these things one at a time. So there's an 8 in this column, meaning that this can't be an 8. And that's going to propagate all the way back down the thermometer, because if this can't be an 8 and they have to increase, then this, has, this can't be a 7, this can't be a 6, this can't be a 5, that can't be a 4, and this can't be a 3. Now let's use the 4. So this 4 sees the possibilities in this row. So none of these can be 4s. That makes this a 3 and makes this a 5. And now in order for the digits to increase along the thermometer, we have to go 6 and then 7 and then either 8 or 9. Because this is a 3, these two have to be lower. So that is a 1 and a 2. By Sudoku, the 2 makes this cell a 1. And the 5 and 7 we've placed here make this a 6. So let's use that 6 now. So the digit before it can't be a 6 because that would be too high. And that can't be a 5. This could still be either a 2 or 3. Now, because we're increasing here, this can't be a 6 anymore, and that can't be a 7. So we have a lot of digits now in column 4, so let's take a moment and see if there's Sudoku we can do. And I see that I have a 3 given down here, and I have no 3 placed in the column yet, and the only place I'm going to be able to put a 3 in that column is there. So the two digits I still have to place in that column are 4 and 9, and I'll mark those in. Now, there may be other Sudoku I can do, but I think it may be time to work on these slightly shorter thermometers. So this one is six cells long, which means it has four degrees of freedom. But it can't start with a one thanks to the one that I placed in that region already. So let's say this can be two, three, or four. Normally it could be one, two, three, or four, but we're just going to ignore the one. This is three, four, or five, four, five, or six, five, six, or seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. And we'll do Sudoku again to make some eliminations. So this 6 keeps us from placing a 6 here, which means we can no longer put a 5 here, and we can no longer put a 5 here, or a 4 here. And what I notice is that this gives me a 4-5 pair, so these digits are 4 and 5 in some order. That makes this a 3, and makes this a 2. Also, it keeps this from being a 5, and because of the 6 I placed earlier, it can't be a 6 either. So that's now a 7, which requires the last two digits on the thermo to be an 8 and a 9. And that 9 is going to make this cell contain an 8. So that's a lot out of just that thermo. I'm wondering at this point what else I can do with this region, because this is becoming quite restricted. This 3 looks up and makes this a 2, but that doesn't really propagate along the thermometer. The digits I still need to place here are going to be 3, 4, 8, and 9, and I can't place 3 in these cells. I also can't place 4 here because there is a 4 in the row. Okay, the next thing I notice is down at the bottom, 
of this um, set of columns. There's a seven up here, and that keeps me from placing a seven in those cells, and the seven in row nine requires me to put a seven there. So I really only need to place three more digits here. So I need to place five, six, and eight. That can't be a six because of the six in the row. Now, I need to place a five somewhere in this row, so there's a five in one of those cells. That's not incredibly useful yet, but we'll hang on to it for now. So what else looks restricted? I don't want to work with this yet because each of these individual thermos is relatively short, right? So I'm gonna be able to work with them, but it'll be a lot easier once I already have some digits placed kind of on or around this thermo. So I'm actually gonna ignore it now and do a little bit more standard Sudoku. So in row three, I need to place a one. And the reason I'm thinking about ones is because I see this one here. And that tells me the one has to go over here. Now I need to place two eight and nine still. There's an eight and a nine in this column, which makes that the two. And that's now an eight nine pair. I don't have anything with the fives. I don't really have anything going on with fours there. So I think I'm going to have to now work with this thermo. Let's start by looking at what this cell can be because I'm noticing that these digits and these digits are pretty disjoint from each other. There aren't a lot of shared digits in this row and this column. So this should be quite restricted, right? It can't be two, three, four, five, or six, and it can't be eight or nine. That actually only leaves one and seven. So I can't place a one there because it's on the end of a thermo, so it must be a seven. So what can go before a seven? So we could start as high as five, but if this was five, that would have to be six, and six is already in the box. So we can't make it a five, and we can't make it a two because there's a two in the, the column. So then what could this be? Can't be one or two. It's three, four, or five. Can't be six because there's a six here. And then this cell just has to be something that's bigger than that, which is pretty unrestricted so far. There are two sevens here telling me that one of these is a seven, and I don't know which one yet, but I'm gonna hang on to that for now. And I think it may be time to do a little more Sudoku. So what other Sudoku deductions do we see? So I'm seeing a few things that have become restricted as I've been working, like this region and this region have filled in somewhat. And something that strikes me in this region is sevens, because there's no seven here yet, and there's a seven in this column that lines up with this mostly empty region. And in fact, that gives me a hidden seven in the region. It places a seven right there. So there has to be a seven in one of those two cells. Don't know which one just yet. I'm just noticing I didn't eliminate an eight there yet, so I'll go ahead and do that now. In these cells, I have to place three, four, six, and nine for the row. This can't be four or three, so it's either six or nine. And this could be three, four, or six. That doesn't give me much yet. Oh, I have an eight here. I didn't actually see that earlier, but that places a seven here now. And now I can keep going with sevens and identify that these sevens block seven out of these cells. This seven blocks a seven out of this cell, so I'm going to place a seven here. And that makes seven my last digit on this section of this thermo. Okay, what else can I put here? So I have a one here. This kind of mirrors the deductions on the left where one sees all of these cells, but because I don't have a one over here yet, I don't know exactly which of these cells I'm gonna put a one in. Here, I still need a one, a two, an eight, and a nine. Two and eight can't go here, so this must be one or nine. And the, oh, this has to be a one, two pair because it can't be eight or nine. Another way of looking at that is to say, where do eight and nine go in row six? They have to go here and there, which resolves this six and turns this into a three, four pair, which gives us our nine. And we can place our one, two pair that way. This is now a three, four pair, which makes this a five and makes this a four. The five and six that have appeared in the column resolve this box. I need to place a three, a four, and a six into this region, so they go like that. These are now one and five in this order because of the one in column one. The nine in column two is going to make that an eight. I still need to place five, six, and nine in this region, so I get a five here and a six, nine pair there. Now I need a two here and a four. Those are taken care of. And in this column, I need a three, six, eight, and nine. I can't place six in those cells. I can't place three or eight there. That's a six or a nine. So that's another six, nine pair. That's a three, eight pair. Now these cells are going to contain one, five, six, and nine. So that's either five or nine. And I'm not gonna pencil mark the other ones because I can see already there are not a lot of restrictions on those yet. I'm probably better off spending my time somewhere else for now. 
So these cells have to contain a 1 and a 4. There's a 1 in row 1, so we're good there. These have to contain a 2 and a 9. There's a 2 in row 2, so we're good there. This is now a 3 is our last digit in the row, and that 3 is going to finally resolve this into a 5. The 5 will make this a 9, and this is now a 3 or 8 to finish the row. The 3 also eliminates 3 as a possibility from this cell. So now we need 1, 4, and 6. So 6 can't go in these cells, 6 must go here, and so this is a 1, 4 pair. These cells contain 4 and 5, and the 4 is finally going to resolve our 3, 4 pairs that have been floating around for a while, and the 3 that we get as a result gives us that 3, 8. We have a 9 here now, which resolves this into a 6, and resolves a couple of pairs floating around. We still need a 1 and a 5, which can be placed, and we are just about done. And that's how you solve Phillips out with the old.